I was uh, just kind of bored, so I have here three proposals for change here in these United States of America. Some of you may disagree with me, and that's cool. I'll tell you that I make suggestions to refine and progress our current system. I do not necessarily support the system itself, but it's all I have to work with presently, so without further procrastination, the Constitution could stand one major change. Currently, as the Commander-in-Chief, the President may do as he wishes with our troops, all but declare war. However, the catch is that he can place them in situations that may escalate to active combat. This was foreseen by the Founding Fathers, and they made it this way in order to keep deliberation out of the picture should it be necessary to quickly mobilize our troops in the interests of defense. See, it takes a vote by Congress to declare war, which hasn't been done since the declaration of war during World War II. All conflicts since that time have officially been in a time of peace, meaning that, in effect, the President, being the Commander-in-Chief, has waged war based on political ambitions. The Constitution should therefore state that not even Congress can move U.S. troops outside of U.S. borders during a time of peace. This is only possible through congressional resolutions, of course, uh, leaving flexibility to various humanitarian efforts around the world, like peacekeeping alongside the U.N. The purpose is to hinder the president from acts of aggression, yet allowing command to dictate a national defense emergency. On to gun control. I still, after all these years, remain neutral. On uh, the gun con control issue, pretty much, uh, I do see a need for some regulation, but not much. This next suggestion is thus that uh, a suggestion. Uh, I think it would settle some of the debate, of course, not all of it. Uh, currently, a convicted felon cannot legally purchase a firearm, but my platform has always been that if you are determined enough, uh, you can get a gun. Anyway, it seems to pacify some, so in light of recent events, people who are deemed under observation by a qualified psychiatrist, psychotherapist, or psychologist can be put on the same type of watch list. The mental instability displayed in several cases of random spree violence has shown repeatedly that these people aren't generally criminal types and may not have access to illegal weapons. This leaves them with no choice but to legally purchase firearms from a dealer. Many times these people have been flagged by caretakers and sometimes seek help themselves, but due to the decrepit psychological care system in the uh, United States, they are either turned away or disillusioned. So on two fronts, it distinguishes a fire, it doesn't harm legitimate weapons purchases, and it will perhaps at least parlay an act of random aggression. I don't feel like elaborating, so... Use your imagination and fill in the possibilities. Got to add, though, that I believe that 95% of those in the mental health field are frauds and completely full of shit. Finally, let's solve that pesky illegal immigration problem. Of course, the only way to solve a problem is to find its root cause and eliminate it. So, quite simply, go after the business owners all across the nation who employ illegal immigrants. Good night, and thanks for watching.